The hearing will come to order. Judge, it's a tough day and tough night for you, I know. Let me uh, ask, do you have anything you'd like to say before we begin? Do you have anything you'd like to say? Senator, I would like to start by saying unequivocally, uncategorically, that I deny each and every single allegation against me today that suggested in any way that I had conversations of a sexual nature or about pornographic material with Anita Hill. A second, and I think more important point, I think that this today is a travesty. I think that it is disgusting. I think that this hearing should never occur in America. This is a circus. It's a national disgrace. And from my standpoint, as a black American, as far as I'm concerned, it is a high-tech lynching for uppity blacks who in any way deign to think for themselves, to do for themselves, to have different ideas. And it is a message that unless you kowtow to an old order, this is what will happen to you. You will be lynched, destroyed, caricatured, by a committee of the U.S. U.S. Senate rather than hung from a tree. We will have... Yes. Yeah. Mr. Chairman. Senator from <coughs> South Carolina. I have named Senator Hatch to cross-examine uh, the judge and any of those who are supporting him. So, Senator Hatch, if you will now take over. Senator Hatch. Okay. Judge Thomas, uh, keep in mind that the statute of limitations under Title VII for sexual harassment for private employers is 180 days or six months. Unfairly disclosed by someone on this committee and or their staff, maybe on this committee. 